Hello and welcome back to Tetra Football. I'm Ryan and I'm joined by Tom, George and Joe today. And we'll do a tier list on the best goalkeepers in the Premier League. Well, not just the best, but in all the goalkeepers in yeah. the Premier League. First off, first is, choice goalkeeper. Yeah, first up is Bournemouth. So we've got Mark Travers for do you know Bournemouth. What? He's not the best keeper, but I mean he's fairly young and I do like him. I think he's been around that squad for a bit, but I think he's met a poor. He's just not really the best keeper, although I do personally like him. I personally completely agree, actually. Uh, met and poor is the, the I'll, I'll put two him, rows I'll put him in there. I think he's a little bit underrated. I don't think he's something that made him awful, but I'll put him in there. I, I think he's that. he's very. He deserves to be met. I mean, he's yeah. not great met, at all. Because I remember his. Premier League debut against Tottenham Hotspur that was, was definitely one of the best games I've seen him play. Uh, but he's just not one, really one one reached one one that height. Did, but we did get two people sent off. <laughs> yeah. sent off but, unfairly, may I add, but why am I still getting worked up that? I don't know. I mean, he's not done much other than that in the Premier League, so I'll have to go meh. I agree. Um, Aaron Ramsdale. I think, Excellent. Yeah, very. I think he's a very Excellent. good keeper. Very good. I say very good. Very, uh, very, I think he's definitely proven himself player. this year. He's not one of the top top in the league. Tom, but he's uh, a just out of interest, do you want to explain to us why would you say excellent? Excellent, because let's think about it. People were doubting him when they were spending the money on the. Actually, I kind of changed my mind. Actually, I he's, just, oh, he's been convinced it. already. I've been convinced. I think they're very good, but I think he's definitely got a chance to turn into an excellent goalkeeper. Yeah, definitely. He's he's very good. Still young. Very good. Definitely. Definitely. He's got really. Emiliano Martinez. I think so. this keeper is excellent. I think he's. I, I think he's criminally excellent. underrated. Yeah, he is. Honest. He is an excellent keeper. He won the Copa America as well. well you got to remember that. But then again, I mean, Argentina are definitely a fan favourite to win the upcoming World Cup, and yeah. I think he's a key part of that in replacing, yeah. you know, Caballero. I mean, and you've seen the mind games he has with the attackers on the penalty. We've all seen the clips of what he did to Bruno and Ronaldo yeah, in that United yeah. game. And uh, like, I, I wouldn't quite. I, I think he puts him into excellent. I would say very good. I think I'd say very good. I think he's a quality keeper, but he just hasn't got the skills just to be an excellent just yet. Right. He is definitely underrated, but I will have to stick him in very good for me. I think my reasoning for excellent though is what other non top six keeper goes that high? Who? Schmeichel. Other than that. Oh, yeah, to be fair. Okay, I think Schmeichel. I think and Ariola perhaps as well. Yeah. Maybe Ariola. We'll, we'll, we'll 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 I'll accept that in a minute. We've got uh, Raya of yeah, Brentford here. Uh, I, I like him. I, me- I remember his debut Good. against Brentford, but I think a few mixed. I think he's a decent keeper, but compared to the other keepers in this table, we might have to go poor. For me. I think he's good. He's very underrated. If you if you've seen Brentford, I think he's got plenty of saves last season. I mean, I just you know rate him that much. I think you you've seen. Been, um, you need to do more for your there. squad for it, me. The, the number of goals that Brentford conceded last season kind that's of they can see quite a lot as well. I think four. I think yeah, it's yeah. also down to the defence. The defence as well. Yeah, but take that into account. Defence would play better with a keeper they're confident in behind them. He did lack clean sheets. Brentford did get barely any clean sheets in there. I just I just don't think. He he's the man for the job at Brentford. Okay, so I think they think they are in, they are definitely in need of a replacement in the goalkeeping position. Definitely, Brighton. definitely. Brighton, we've got um, Sanchez. I'll put him in. Paul. No, no, don't take. He's the, not that bad. Don't take the piss. I'm sorry, but he's probably good. I would say. I'll he's still good. young. Got plenty of time to improve. Really. Just, yeah. And he's and he's played PG, for please. he's played for Spain as well. Well, take I'm going to agree with Tom and say good, but what's up to you? Up to mm, you? Yeah, I think he's a good keeper. So he's definitely a level above Mark Travers from Bournemouth. Oh, definitely, so certainly. I'll, I'll give him good. Um, Ryan, you said poor. What? Well, I, mean, I don't I don't personally rate him that poor. high, but he's better than the other keepers we put in there. Oh, I wouldn't say so poor, but I would say meh. Because you, do, you, don't, you don't go, oh, yes. Oh, I want I want Sanchez in my team. Yeah, but you, you don't go, oh, don't want the him in my team. Saying, no, that's just think not that. do you think and, and how many res- mistakes he, we, he has he already did, had? He, he has I got mean, a few red cards yeah. as well. I remember against Liverpool last season, yeah, he should have been I sent off. And he was had that a, why Doug went in goal? Did he get sent off? No, that was a different game. That was the that was a game earlier in the season. He's had a few red cards. They're actually in crack. I think it was that one last season. So no, there was definitely a few. Yeah, but he should have been sent yeah. off a second time against Liverpool. I think <laughs> the general sports. consensus okay. there was good. If a keeper yeah, like that, why, why is he played for Spain then? If he's such a bad keeper. Well, no, he's well, a he doesn't up anymore. For Spain, he, 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 he only played for Spain while well, De Gea was rubbish. De Gea and Unai Simon both above him. We got Edward Mendy next. I personally say very good. I think he's excellent. To be fair, I have to agree with the Chelsea fan. He he revolutionized. That defense oh, on that team. We I'm... declared the bait club open. We got open two excellent, two very good. <laughs> so I, remember, uh, I can't remember who it was, but he went one in a row. 
Yeah. He went running around. <laughs> He just, make, he just makes some mistakes. Yeah, but three. I believe that mistake wasn't his. It yeah, was but, Rudiger. Yeah, but you've got to take into fact that they were quality defenders. Okay, no, you wouldn't, be you, would, you wouldn't let us rate Sanchez because of his mistakes, so you can't blame Mendy for one mistake. Oh, so he won one mistake. He went he running around. Afghan. He won that one. Bloody hell. He's having voice cracks and everything. You can't just have team trophies into account for every single player, can you? I think... Let me talk, let me talk. Remember Chelsea versus Brentford last year? 4 1. And yeah. you can't blame a back line with the likes of Antonio Rudiger and Thiago Silva. And yeah. You can't blame that back line. Those four goals that they conceded to Brentford, plus many others, I'm not just using that as like, you know. I'm sorry, uh, there's no, no, no way no, you can blame him. That's an anomalous result, but on many, many occasions he has slipped up. But that does not take away the fact that he's an excellent goalkeeper. I'm, I'm sorry, but, but I'm, I, would I say watched no, you that game. You just said excellent that, Yeah, that was a slip of the no, tongue. You said excellent. Excellent. I, I would I'm say very good. good. I'm I sorry, but I watched that game against Brentford and the goals weren't his fault. Oh, so it was the defence making mistakes. Okay, so to be fair, Mendy, he has made a couple mistakes, but he's also saved Chelsea on many occasions. Yeah, one one. I do agree with that. He revolutionised that team. He's probably the reason they won that Champions League final. Definitely. He's the reason he got that far. So and I definitely think one of the greatest African goalkeepers, like probably in yeah, history. Yeah, he's I think he's got to go excellent. I think you've got uh, to excellent. give him the credit. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not budging on excellent. If, no. a, if a Chelsea fan was sitting here saying, God, I would slap him down, but I think excellent is... Fair. All right, you've convinced me. You've convinced me. Yeah. But uh, that means that the, the standards now are for God tier are much lower. Oh, yeah. um, Brighton Pallet. fans not happy because his keeper weren't excellent. We've got yeah. Jack Butland for Jack Butland for Pallet. It's Pallet. it's a bit weird the fact that he is apparently their number one. They've always yeah. it's been guide to in recent seasons, yeah. but. Supposedly it's Butland now, difference. and we're rating it on Butland. And I would put him in in poor. I, I think Matt or poor. Like he was a very good keeper. Remember how years for ago me. for Stoke, for but then yeah. he he got injured, and since then he's just been poor. And he's and a I bit, think that's how you describe him. He's a bit him, poor. Out of work as well, isn't yeah. he? He's a bit, um, you know. Yeah, he's awful, I think he's awful. I think yeah. he's slightly better than the keeper I'm planning to put in awful. So I'd give him poor. Mm. So we got two. I think I know who's planning on putting awful. I have a feeling he's coming up quite soon. Um. We've got. Although a, a, I might argue that oh. David Raya goes in poor if you're putting oh, no. Butland in poor. No, he's in poor. I, I mean, I think he should go up a bit if you're putting Butland the same level. I think no. Raya's definitely it's better great. than Butland. I have to disagree. Uh, no, I, I think they're the same level. But then again, but, I'll, 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 I, I would personally Butland, argue Travis Butland is worse than Butland has not played Raya, in, in yeah. very yeah, good actually. games, has he? He's played for England. In friendly, got injured, and he's just not been the same after that injury for me. You know, yeah, I, I agree with Joe though. Quickly, I feel like we should consider swapping Travers and Raya. Definitely. Yeah, well, that seemed weird to me. Yeah, uh, I think. Oh, I think no, we I don't have to agree. No. Okay, well, we'll do that. Oh, Tom. Well, no, it's a three v one though. Then. I would put Raya in there, probably. That's what we're saying. Yeah, that's. I thought you were putting him even further down. No. <laughs> Right, I think we've all agreed on that. Then. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, we had a weird start. Uh, okay, Jordan in Pickford. Pickford. He's, he's an England international. He's he's done it in, in World Cups, in Euros. Very he's done it for Everton on numerous occasions. But he has slipped in uh, as of recent. Yeah, hasn't he? let's face it. See, with Pickford, we all know for England, he's just insane for some reason. He doesn't he doesn't replicate that form at Everton and. Like, we do see it sometimes in Everton. Do you remember the game against City where City yeah. got the weird handball thing of Rodri? Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that like, whole situation. Like, Pickford had a great game that game, but most of the time he's a really average performer. Is, so yeah. I think but, he can only... For his Everton performances, he's in there. Yeah. Because... Right? Uh, I do have to say, he's not as good for Everton as he is for England. So that's why he's not excellent on God. That's why I put him in very good. I mean, on his day, he's one of the best players on the pitch. But the problem if with you that saw is him against Chelsea, day, a lot. Yeah, if a you lot saw of him against he's Chelsea, better, you have to say, he was man oh. of the match by a mile. His performance against Chelsea last season was outstanding. Yeah, oh. but he has a couple oh, of those games. Put him but... in, um... Good. I don't think he's amazing, but I think on his day he can be good actually. So, so, wait, so we got good. two mares that are very good and a good. So I, I say we put him good. I, wait, you, good. you said mare. No, I said mare. Were you? I'll go, I'll go very good. A very good. What? I how guess. can you say mare? For Jordan Pickford. Because he might be That's, good for England, but yeah. his Everton performances and it is true. Yeah, but it's as him but, as a goalkeeper, not club no, it, football. No, it's Premier League, isn't it? But, yes, Premier League goalkeepers, not not just for you know, them. I think we have to go for good. Yep, I think Me in the middle. 
Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh, I, I still good. think very good. Okay, so we're sorry for what you're about to see pop off on screen. We had to restart the recording. But the next keeper is Rodak from Fulham, I believe. Yeah, correct. Yeah, and I think this might have to be the first keeper going awful. I personally don't know a lot about him, but it seems like Fulham have seemed to be trying to get a better keeper for many, many years, like when they've loaned in Ariola. Yeah, so yeah. I think that shows that he's probably not the best quality and he should probably go an awful. I do have to agree they're awful from a Fulham keeper. I just think... They need to be doing much better in their bid for survival in this yeah. Premier League season. Once upon a time, when I was um, managing Upgrade from the Stanley on FIFA Crew Mode, and I signed Marek Rodak, I thought, yeah, uh, this is quite a nice like underdog keeper that not many people know about, but I never, at any point in that career mode, thought to myself, oh, you know what, he's he's Premier League worthy. Never did I think oh, so. Wow, well, um, that's, that's a great story, Joe. And then, and but I, w I think awful is definitely harsh. But uh, I think he's got to go. Who else are we going to put in all for this video? And there's um, a reason why I, Fulham are trying to sign Leno. Well, there, are, there is one more keeper which I. I, I, I think personally that this is the one awful keeper. I don't think any of the others true. quite fit there. <laughs> no, I think Butler. And I know, I know, I think it's the next keeper you're going to say is an yeah, awful. Yeah, it is, yeah. No, Rodak's an awful though, I don't care. I think we're. Yeah, agreed awful. Yeah, he's, um, okay, yeah, everyone else is agreed awful. awful. Alright, okay, then. Who, who is the next Melly keeper? Melly I would, I would honestly put an awful. Um, I. See the thing is, people look at last season. The number of leads he goals. saved leads last season, like especially on the last day, he Did made he a crucial know? last minute save that kept them but in the lead. Look at the other side of the argument: mm. the number of goals he let in. But that wasn't his fault. The the leads of... had loads of injuries. They never had a proper back line playing in front yeah, of him. Yeah, true. The and number of goals. He is also like... a young keeper, and I think he's definitely got room to improve. He's nowhere near like the good tiers, but no, no. I think. He's a better keeper than what you're giving him credit for there, awful. I think he's probably meh, I think. You know, honestly, I wouldn't put him awful. You have convinced me I'd, I'd now move him up to, to poor. Um, I'd yeah, give him not, meh. Not what do you I think, Tom? I'd him meh. I think he's an all-right keeper, but he just needs to improve quite a bit just to get a step up into good. We'll do so. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to go for poor. You're going to have to convince me to put him in meh. Well, okay, I mean, no. his, his goal no, leakage debate, last season was just horrible. Okay, well, the amount okay, of goals okay. let they me talk you through it. So... The one big thing, I can't remember a lot, but I remember the one big thing, he did keep Leeds in the league. It was one of the last games, it was the last game, I think, and what he did, it was, it was one of the last games, it was three, I think it ended 3-2 after Leeds scored in like pretty much the 90th minute. Brighton the games, other so. team, no, it wasn't Brighton, I don't think. It was 2-0 the last game. I think game, it was Brentford so when they were already up. I might have been Brentford. It was Brentford, and they went down the other end, no, it was against Norwich, it was against Norwich, sorry. Yeah. And they went up the other end, they were about to score, it was Meslier's save that kept them in the league on that final day. And I also think that, well, you can't criticise, that's, one, yeah, that's one, one good, though. you can't criticise him, the, many negatives. the thing is, you can't criticise him for the whole season and all the goals, I'm, because I'm a lot of the time he did save leads in quite a few games, and throughout that season he never had a proper solid back line playing in front yeah. of him due to all the injuries. I'm sorry, no. but so I think it's you harsh said to one mistake for. doesn't change Mendy, so one good thing can't change the Leeds goalkeeper, can it? Yeah, well, I think everyone... Yeah, we think about the Good season point. before then. Last season was just a poor season for Leeds, and I don't think you can use that, especially if you're not going to bother comparing it to the really good season they had before, when no one had any issue with him. Uh, another fact is they were playing well, relegation, so that's also going to be a I honestly, to it, really. I can't see him, um, you know, being a meh quality. I even I, I, I'd stick him in poor, because... Mm. I, just oh, I, don't, I, I have to put poor for me. Meh. So we got two men and two. I, th I think you can't put him. Not you, you can. You've got to put him. In you ball. can't put him on the same level as Butland and Travers. Travers didn't even start for Bournemouth That's true. when they were getting. I'm sorry, but Butland, Butland was once an England yeah, international. Yeah. Yes, but is he anymore? And you're putting we're him rating as him, a poor. We're rating him on now. Is he that anymore? You is said we're anymore? rating him on now, but you said two seasons ago he was terrible. But if we're rating him on now, last season he was horrid. So he's got to be going in poor for me. Melier, I think. It all honestly for me is poor. I just don't like the way that um, the you know the number of goals that he conceded last season. I've watched many. a lot, and I mean a John lot rating, yeah. of Leeds last season. I've watched them endlessly, pretty much all of their games. I don't know why. I just thought, oh Leeds, they're, they're quite an exciting team to watch. Turns out they weren't. And but at the same time, um, Melier, I did see many mistakes from him as well as many decent saves. But he he kind of just flops around on the floor <laughs> every game for a bit as well, which isn't very interesting. So. Uh, what are we going with? Uh, poor. I don't like it. Poor. I don't like it, but I'll let you put him in poor. I think we settled that one, man. Casper Schmeichel. Uh, 
uh, excellent or god. Yeah. Not not god. Not god. Yeah, excellent. Not, yeah, not I I think I think there's two keepers and pretty much the two Brazilian boys, Alisson and Anderson, should probably go god. I don't think Schmeichel's quite with them. I think he's excellent as well. But he, look at you can't if compare, it was god, for me. It was for me, god. there is no way in a million years. I'm sorry, but why is he going to Nice if he's one of the best keepers? Then? Listen, because he's old. But at the same time, listen. There is no way in a million years you could compare Mendy to Schmeichel. There's just no yes, way. Yes, there is. Not, Mendy is not, so much better than Schmeichel. Okay, not, that's a bit. That, no, uh, not, not so much, but he is better. Not in this yeah, world can you compare <laughs> those two keepers. You've got a guy who's... I mean, I'm not... I'm, this is not really a valid point, but his father is one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time. Right? <laughs> he he, he has a unique element. playing style. That's he, like saying my granddad was listen, the best Arsenal player. doesn't make me automatically you can, you can the me best explain. player in the world. You can let me explain. All right, he has learnt that playing style, that unique way of being a goalkeeper from one of the greatest of all time. You can't say the same for the likes of Mendy, can you? Uh, and Schmeichel, you know, put him in a, in a Liverpool club, make him make him Brazilian and put him in Liverpool or Man United City, but, and he'd be hardly, highly regarded as one of the greatest of all time. Seriously, no, he would. He'd be a he would. Big he'd I'm sorry, but three of us... It's, no, it's not, it's, not, no. it's not his fault. It's no. the fact that he's loyal to Leicester, right? No, and no way... Leicester would have won the league without him. No way would Leicester have won Obviously, the league. Yeah, Leicester no. wouldn't have won the league without Vardy or Mares or Kante. Either. He was such a huge part of that, and I can see. Three why of us are saying excellent, so he's got to go in excellent, not got it. Yeah, been outvoted there. That's absolutely offensive. <laughs> I think this guy's gonna have to go down. But um. No, no. Just because you support Tottenham doesn't mean he's Alison, gonna go down. Alisson's got to go and got. Got here. He's got to go and got. He's probably the best keeper nice. in the world. No, excellent. not in the world. Excellent. Oh, that's, that's a stretch. Best keeper God, in the world. You can't just put everyone in God, can you? You can't. No, <laughs> we can't put everyone Alison in Alison is not everyone, is he? <laughs> Alison is not everyone. The point is, you, you were thinking of putting Smike on God. Can't I just put Alison in as well? He's not. <laughs> Again, I, I, but Smike was not actually in God, is he? Personally, I, I believe Smike was better than Alison, but at the same time. A better keeper. <laughs> you can't just say, oh yes, everyone's in God. Alison no is one, not It's only when no one's there. Um, mm, I, think, I think that excellent is kind of what began with settled. No, Alison's got to be in God. Because we've got he's Tom got to be in God. He's won the league, he's won the Champions League, he's won literally everything. And he's been a crucial part of Liverpool. Yeah, but oh, has he? Oh, he's, team, he's, um, he's, he's bloody good. He did score what? a header. But he's, the, he's, probably, no. he's got to be the best keeper in the league. You have convinced me. He's got to go God. You have convinced me he is a God tier uh, keeper. You said God from the start. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm he's a God tier keeper. Yeah, but I'm going to put him God. Thank you. I had to look at other people's keepers, and I don't think I was good as him really. So, he's got him God. Now Edison is interesting God. next. He's I gonna mean, be okay. I've got to put He is Alison's understudy at Brazil though, he's so not it's good. An he's understudy. Not as good. He is not by can, any can means as good as Alison or Casper Schmeichel. Or Edward Mendy. He is not I'll get it. Can can I, oh I'm sorry. Edison is better than Mendy. Can I excuse you? Just excuse you. You can't say Schmeichel is better than Mendy, I'm sorry. It's, it's obvious, it's not even debatable. It's okay, not I think Do you know what? I actually might be able to Agree with Joe and put Schmeichel in God. I'm not sure. I might be able to agree with no, him. I'm for not, his history, no. what he's done at that club is absolutely. Yeah, he yeah. is right. What he's done. He's is a club iconic. legend. Doesn't make him a good goalkeeper. So if he was at Chelsea, he would be. I mean, you'd play him over Mendy it? any day, wouldn't you? No. I, I wouldn't necessarily well, play him over Mendy now after what Mendy's done exactly. for Chelsea. But I think if Chelsea were playing Schmeichel instead of Mendy, they would have achieved just the same. I, think. I would disagree. So I think that. I think the problem with Edison is he kind of pisses around the ball sometimes and leads to some mistakes. Can you stop, like, keep it PG? Stop saying that all the time. <laughs> okay, uh... He's going to go excellent. I think he's excellent. I think he's excellent. And, uh, yeah. Oh, Dan, no, don't. I'm, saying, I'm agreeing. With you know what? Put him God tier because we won't you know, hear the you, end of it. You know it makes sense. Okay, no, I do think, though, if we're going to do it like that, Alison technically goes... And, and then, then we, we might as well we bump up Mendy to God tier. Uh, let's not. But then we would definitely put my nanny God tier. <laughs> Hang on, Tom, five minutes ago, you like, oh, yeah, Cash Michael should be God tier. And now he's just... Right, David De Gea, once upon a time, he would be God tier, but he's not. He's pretty much. Very good. I think he's still a very good keeper. He was a saviour for United. I can agree with him very good right now. Okay. I, know, I don't think he's quite excellent anymore. He's kind of fallen away from that. And yeah. God obviously once was, but 
not he quite sa- that way. He anymore. saves United though, so that does boost him up to very good for me. Yeah, like me. Without him, they probably wouldn't be in Europe yeah, next. Is he season. even first choice he's there anymore? Not... He is definitely first oh, is, choice yeah. still. He's definitely not, first choice. What's what his first choice? Just he's not as good as Mendy, really, is he? Not as good. Not, not as good. Yeah, it's just. Uh, I mean, good. who is up next? Next up, Ryan is the Bravka from Newcastle, and currently he is written down as above Pope, which I think is fair because Pope's only just come in. The Bravka's been there performing well for years, so I think that is fair to give him mm-hmm. the. Pope will definitely be pushing put, for that first. I choice. would put the Bravka as good. I mean, his performance in the Euros with that silly own goal was. Yeah, that was pathetic. He did have a pretty down a pathetic bit. Euros, but. He has been an incredible keeper for Newcastle when they haven't really had many other bright lights in their squad over mm-hmm. these over the Mike Ashley years, and he's been a consistent performer for them. And I, I would like to put him very good, so I think he's definitely above Robert Sanchez. But I think I good might good. be. Um, I, put I think good. he's had highlights for Newcastle over the last he year, as well as the highlights. I mean, if we're talking he's about ben, we're talking Sanchez. about the Euros. The qualifying stage for the Euros, he was very, very good. But then the final tournament, of course, the 5 0 lost to well, Spain, where he scored yeah. back to Leon Gold. I, and, do, I do have to say, I would put him in good, but I would Sweden say he's well. better than Robert Sanchez yeah. as well. I think me and Ryan agreed on that. Yeah, so but I he's, think... um, he, he's very inconsistent. He's on and off. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think good is what we kind of got. Okay, with. Dean Henderson, the typically United backup keeper. Yeah. I think, I think he's trying to get his move meh. away. He keeps going learned, learned out. It's not good for his career. Everywhere. He needs a permanent move. Maybe he just but... doesn't like Manchester. I can't blame him. Uh, I think <sighs> Sheffield, he did really well, didn't he? He did. And then yeah. the second him. season, they couldn't get him back. Yeah, and they got relegated. Yeah. Oh, is that Dean? They did also have their main set. He's, he's had a switch in there. No, it's the background. It's right. the background. Wow. Um, I would honestly say very good. I'm going to put him in a... Not very good, come on. I'm, Look at the keepers are up there. You can't compare you, him. I would compare Henderson think, to, to Pickford. Do you, do you think he's as good as Ramsdale, then? I think good, Ramsdale's because he's there, probably a similar it? level to Pickford. Pickford's not I'm even up on oh, very good. Oh, shit, sorry, I was looking at the wrong tier. Um, yeah, I think good, to be fair. He's, oh, uh, he's not as good as Ramsdale. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'd, I'd put him in good. Good. But then again, the same list as, as mm. like, just Sanchez. I, I still think we put Sanchez too high, but the stupid oh, Brighton fan. Yeah, I think, think he's, he's too high. He's never watched them play. You just the, always watch the top six. The, Bri- the Brighton, Brighton fan just high. thinks he's as good as flipping bread and wine. Okay, <laughs> Alex McCarthy again. There's a little bit of a fight going on here because Bazunu is obviously, um, you know, the new signing. Yeah. Everyone, everyone thinks he. I do play. like Bazunu. I think he will be a very good keeper. McCarthy, but McCarthy is still first choice goalkeeper. I would put him in poor, to be fair. Poor. There's nothing wrong with him. I'd put him meh. I'd put meh. I think meh. He's fine. He's just as He's just a solid keeper. You don't think much of him, no. but he's not rubbish. So Tom, Matt, Matt, Tom Matt is a good Yeah, he's, he's, just, he's forgettable. You got to race. I mean, he's, he's won the top two race. tiers, but uh, uh, I'd say one? excellent. To be fair, I think fair, he does make a few fair, mistakes. Yeah. Status-wise, he's, he's, he's probably equal with Schmeichel in terms of, you know, what he's done. I'm gonna have to vote you and go very good. Very good. Oh, that's not happening. That is happening. I might have to back. Very, I'm not convinced by Lloris. Do you think he's Can't on the same level as Mendy and Ederson? He's definitely he's got not. Way, he's got way more mistakes in him than those Yeah, but you're, you're, you're trying to give up things that happened years ago. One mistake, the World Cup final gets a world Yeah, but he, he, he makes mistakes constantly. We're not talking years about ago, the World Cup final. 2017, We're talking 2018. about consistently. He makes mistakes. In 2018. So he cannot yeah. okay, okay. go into that excellent... Excellent. Okay, in, in 2018, he did make a lot of mistakes. In 2017, he made a lot of mistakes. I, he has not made a mistake like that. He does, doesn't make up for he his did. mistakes either. When he was a... a, a, a years ago. See, years see ago. you've what got no you arguments, so what you're just you... going stumbling over your words. It's years ago. No. When was the last time he made a mistake? Very good. Probably last week. In the... It was the World Cup final. It was the last time he made no, a mistake. No, no. <laughs> Was. You can't say that's the last time he made a mistake. A Maybe not a mistake. massive mistake. Yeah, that's yeah. a massive mistake. Uh, obviously, he concedes goals. All goalkeepers concede goals. No, no, no. He's that's not, not a mistake. By any my, my initial reaction was excellent. I mean, very good. He's, good. he's not. Co- very good. He's obviously not comparable to Ramsdale, is he? He's yes, he is. Obviously, okay, Ramsdale's Ramsdale. better. Be honest. Yeah, Ramsdale okay, was Thomas definitely just better. Thomas just being salty because we all know that Sanchez is actually that good. I think Ramsdale was better. Oh, no, I'm sorry, he's going to go very good. You can't put him in no, excellence. You guys, well, he's just salty because Sanchez didn't get that high up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can't. Um, Ryan's doing it for the clout. Uh, <laughs> we got <laughs> The clout, oh, God. We've got Alfonso Areola next, who, are, who I would argue goes in excellent, but... I um, think, 
I think good because. Ooh. Good, definitely good. You cannot compare him against. I think he's a good against keeper. Against Edward but... Mendy and Edison and the fraud Lorenzo. He said very I mean, good. He, not e- very he said good. very good, not excellent. Who are we looking at? No oh. one said excellent for him, right? He did. I would say excellent for. See, for I'm... he was Paris Saint Germain's first choice goal. He keeper. wasn't first choice. No, he, he was. Can't, he get get replaced. Okay, okay, Keylor Navas. Ben Navas or Buffon or like for a while he was. Maybe a matter of months he was. Um, yeah, they someone better. He didn't start for West Ham last season, didn't he? But I mean, I think about P- PSG. I don't yeah, but they brought him back, so they clearly see a decent player in him. Mm. Okay, you could, maybe he, you can convince me. Very good. No, yeah. I I do think it's very. I don't think he's quite one of the elite keepers of yeah. the league. So he, he's not. He's not up there with the. He's fraud, similar to Martinez. Edward Mendy or Edison. I mean, yeah, but you're, I, I can't, I can't believe these two are even in the same tier. That's no, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. You know, Mendy, uh, Mendy should be in the tier, uh, and relax, Laurie right. should be in very good. Yeah, there's no um, way in a million at years. At best, um, Jose. So I, I'd honestly yeah. say, man, I just, I don't <laughs> think he is the replacement. I, that, I really think he's oh. a very good oh, keeper. Sorry, he'd like got. He had like the highest save percentage in the league last season. That shows he is saving so many of the shots that come to him. And just because Wolves had a poor run of form, it was not his fault. He was still performing. He was still doing very well. I'll probably put um, him in very like, good for this one. I would honestly argue excellent. I think he's one of the top keepers in the league. He came in from Olympiagos and he's Whoa. proved himself Whoa. instantly. Very good. good for me. Very um, good. Uh, I'll probably put him in good. I don't think he's. I, I would say mess. So we got a, a good. Met, I'd, a I'd good. say good is okay, that, That's where we're going then. Oh, he's so much better than Sanchez though. Oh, no, he's, he's so much he's better than Sanchez. This he's list annoys me in, in places, think... but I think that we've we've. I think Maurice is too high up for me. That's not a okay. joke. Okay, okay. Ryan, can I just say, can we all just outvote Sanchez, please? No, we're not. No, he's no, not that good. This is stupid though. No, Sanchez, I agree with. He's not that good. You never watched him play. He's n- he's having boys and crackers himself. <laughs> he never was playing. He just watched the top Okay, are it. you telling me he's on the same level as Pickford and Dean Henderson? Yes. Yeah, I would. I was, yeah, I was saying, is he? Better, is he? Better than Dean Henderson, boy. Yeah, okay, when you word it like that and you compare it to them. <laughs> Even Dubravka, he's been oh, a solid I, I starter. Actually, you you, 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 you convinced me there. I think he's meh. You think Dubravka? <laughs> He's usually yeah. having voice cracks. Yeah. He's, he's having voice cracks, he's that angry. Alright, it's official, he's been moved to Mayor. How is Dubravka? Three, three votes on Mayor. Well, oh, this is a laugh. That was his his own, I was not convinced until he compared him to the likes of Henderson. Can we move Dubravka then? Because he's not as good, is he? I think he well, is. I think he's been. Well. He might have had a poor Euros, but other than that, he's been a very good, solid. Yeah, he's, he's, he's young off, and I think. I think he's oh, good no, enough. Tom is convincing me now. Well, I think he's, he's good he's enough. So I think he's good no, enough. No, I think I think he's. No, he's, he's not on and off. It, it was just for Euros that he did bad, and that's because like, was it oh, Slovakia? They don't have a great team either. Why is Sanchez? Yeah, no, actually, yeah, that's a good point. The defense for Slovakia. I mean, no, who do they actually have that you can? Skriniar. Skriniar. Uh, and they even had to play Uri Kuka in defense. Yeah, like they don't, even though he's a midfielder. They don't. They don't have a defense. Like they, he was Sanchez kind of stranded by himself. Yeah. They have Robert Mack. And he well. saves new... Sa- Sanchez in the same list as this little twat. It's McCarthy. Yeah, he's Stop, not good, though, Stop is swearing. He's not as good though. Is he? I, I would say that he is actually. Oh, what's going on there? I don't Robert. know who this is, but he's just moving his mouth. That was Butland and Paul. That was Butland and Paul. He's getting hard time. Well, I do have to just say that is the end of our Premier League. Yeah, I think that's good how it is. Um, The debate club is closing. (laughs) I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe because every little helps.